Hello everybody, Marcel Harding here. Welcome to my channel, Marcel Harding Art. I thought today I would do a 2019 review of my landscape paintings. Now they also include a lot of buildings, not just landscapes, uh, old sheds and so forth. So they're all bunched up, as you can see, there's a whole lot of them. Um, I've done a lot of paintings this year in 2019. Uh, Merry Christmas, by the way. Um, so I thought I'd show you some of them. Uh, yesterday I did one on still life. Today I'll do one on, on the landscapes. So in any order, this is uh, an old shed. I really like this painting here. It looked really good. A lot of, lots of detail on it. This is one of my favorites. An old shed, an old sheep shed. Here's another one here with mountains at the back and some flowers in the front. It's pretty cool. These are all done in 2019, this year. So, landscape paintings. This is year in review 2019. So, yeah, this is another good one. I like the little trees here. Now, this is another one here of uh, an old house. Mountains at the back. Worked out alright. This is of uh, South Island landscape, long grass in the foreground. Looks really good. I like the <coughs> the look of it. It's pretty cool. This is a South Island mountains in New Zealand because I live in New Zealand. Quite like the uh, the mountains at the background, the trees and the shrubs. It worked out pretty good. I like this one of the man on the horse and his couple, two dogs. That's pretty cool. Worked out pretty well. This is an old, again, an old shed, like a sheep shed. A couple of black dogs here in the foreground. This worked out pretty good. I like this painting. It's really well. It worked out, worked out really well. I did this recently of an old sheep shed. I did it very quickly in like half an hour, so it's pretty rough. It's got mountains at the back, snow mountains at the back. It's all good. This is a, of an old shed where they store um store hay for the uh, sheep and and so forth. Bit of a brick building, old brick building converted into just a room for to store um to store hay this is an old building in the wilderness a stone building that um has been depleted obviously deteriorated rapidly still has a good effect it's a good i like the way i painted it it's a good good liking to it this is just an an old house in the countryside it's quite bright actually, probably a bit too bright. We'll have a got a garage there. Again, this is another old shed. Could be a sheep shed or a cow shed, something like that in the country. There's a house at the background. Way at the back is some trees. Looked out pretty good. Some more tin sheds. Poplar trees at the back, pretty cool. Now this is is a rural country house. I love this painting, eh? I did a really good job. Really proud of this painting. Did a, a nice country house there. It looks really good. I really like that painting. It just turned out really well for some reason. It's just an, an ordinary old house with uh, a a brick house just on the side overhanging um, flowers trees in the background this is just an old tin shed an old 
an old shed in the countryside. We've got it right. This is an old church. They're hard to paint churches. I don't know why. For some reason, churches are damn hard to paint. But here we are. There's a church here. You can tell it's got the cross up top there. We've got it right. This is a, a, a boarding house on the countryside. It's just an old wooden house in the countryside. I like the trees in the background. Pretty quaint little house. This is just a fairly modern old wooden house in the countryside. Uh, it's uh, on a hill, steep hill as you see. The mountains in a long distance background. This here is one of my favourite paintings here. It's got amazing detail to it. I love this painting. Um, it's an old greenhouse. Uh, I just love this painting. Everything about it is right. It's got all the details. It's, it's really well painted. I love this painting. Well, I reckon it's one of the best paintings I've ever done. I really like this painting. Uh, this yes, it worked out all right. This one, this is a little. Um, it's not even a house. It's just a, uh, just a little uh, small building of a stone building with a roof on it. But it, it's got a good effect on it. This is a uh, an old cookhouse. It's not actually a house you live in. It's a cookhouse. It's a small cookhouse for like pizzas and things like that. Yeah, it worked out all right. This is an old green shed. I like the trees in the background, they look pretty cool. Another another old shed again. Um, I like the trees in the background, they've, they worked out really well. Um, I don't know what was supposed to be in the front, but I painted it anyway. Looks alright. This is just an ordinary ho old house that you live in. Could be any house. It looks all right. I painted this just the other day, actually. It's just an old shed. Very old shed. Mountains in the background. Long trees in the background. A little bit of shrub in the foreground. Painted that the other day. This is just an old cottage house. Uh, stone cottage house. It's pretty bright, actually. I don't know why I painted it so bright. However... I painted this the other day as well, actually, about a week ago. Um, yeah, it worked out all right. It's just an, an old house, wooden house, in the countryside. This is an old quaint house. It's quite a large house, as you can see. They're hard to paint, these old big double-story houses. The details in them are pretty hard to do, but I did the best I could. Flowers not on the foreground. An old tree. This is just an old shed in the countryside. Could be an old smokehouse, you don't know. This is um, an old quaint house and um, quite a large house. Hard to paint these old big houses like that. With too much detail in them, really. I tried to simplify it as much as I could. Still gate the front. You wouldn't buy it. Pretty cool. This worked out pretty good, this one, actually. Um, I like the mountains I did in the background. And I like the uh, the roof I did on the shed. An old, an old, an old house, really. Not really a shed. It's an old house that looks like an old shed. Farmer's gate there. It's pretty cool. Did all right. It's just a typical uh, suburban house, wooden suburban house. Yeah, this one turned out all right actually. I painted this about a week ago or so. I like the background mountains and the foreground grass. An old little, an old little house with a fireplace. 
pretty cool worked out all right this here is i really like this one this is a, of a small a very small church in the countryside this is a driving by this is i like this painting here it worked out really well an old very small wooden church you can uh, go in and confess your sins if you want <laughs> i guess i quite like this one it worked out really well a little church um this one is just an old an old house with uh stones in the foreground of it or trees in the forest in the background that worked out all right this is an old quaint wooden house a uh, lot of lots of detail in it uh pretty hard to paint but i think i captured it just so yeah i like the way it turned out uh another uh, just a country house any typical country house um this one here is the side of a tin shed with fire going and uh, a boiling pot worked out all right again this is just a small church entrance to a small church got the steps there this is a uh, right in the countryside with lots of red barns you see there's a road leading into it lots of fences in the background this is just an old wooden house in the countryside stoke the fire keep warm in the winter you can see smoke coming out i like this painting here this is an old tin shed I really like the way I painted it. I did a good job painting that, especially the trees in the background as well. I mean, I just, I think I captured everything on this painting. It looks really good. I'm really happy with the, with the grass and everything. I did, did, did a good job on that one, I feel. This is a pretty basic little head, uh, wooden shed. It's okay. It's not the greatest, but it's okay. No, I, I like this painting here. This is an old wooden shed. In the countryside you go for walks you know how it means you go for these uh long walks and you want to stay the night in an old wooden shed <clears throat> you know camp from camp by the uh, shed you know i like this painting it's quite good it's like a walking track shed one of those walking track sheds you see when you go on those long walks in the uh, forest i like it it worked out well Again, this is just another old wooden shed on the side of the road. Could be for storage, could be for anything. Now here's a big red barn. I quite like the way I did this actually. It's pretty cool how it turned out. Big red barn, it's a sheep shed, obviously, you can see that. I did a lot of sheep sheds, but I like the way it turned out. This is just um, another sheep shed again. An orange, it's got an orange to it. <laughs> Probably painted a little too bright orangely, but that's right. No long sheep shed. Uh, this is just a, a quaint wooden house in the countryside. I like the way I painted the trees in the background. It's pretty cool. And uh, I think this is the last one I've got here. Just a countryside couple of sheds. A red shed and a uh, grey shed in the countryside. So um, that's my um, paintings for landscape painting for 2019. I hope you liked it. It's been a good year. Uh, Merry Christmas. Um, like, share, subscribe, bang the bell, and we'll catch you guys later. Cheers.